Hello everyone, welcome back for another lesson. In this lesson we'll be talking about motion transformation. Okay, so transformation of motion is when the motion is transmitted through an object but it's modified along the way. So from translation to rotation or rotation to translation. The driver and the driven do not make the same motion, obviously. If, it's there, if there's a transformation, the driver would be, for example, rotating and the driven would be translating. There has to be a transformation, so automatically the driver and the driven cannot have the same type of motion. We will be looking at four mechanisms, which are listed over here. And without further ado, let's talk about them. So the first one is the slider crank mechanism. So in this case, we have rotation to translation. So this over here, so it's going counterclockwise, this would be the driver, and it makes this part translate. So this is the driven. Can it be reversed? The answer is yes, okay? So we say uh, rotation to translation, but we can have translation to rotation. So in this case, this could be the driver if the translation comes first, and it would make this rotate. So this would be the driver in the second example. This would be the driven in the second example. Um, actual examples, real life examples. Here you have a system uh, that is involved in uh, getting oil out the outside of the ground. So you can see this is translating while this is rotating. A door. At school you might have doors that look like these, commercial doors. So you have a part that's rotating, so the door is rotating. Uh, this over here is rotating, but there's a part that is extending and that's a translation. Okay, so you can see it a little bit like here. You have this over here, I have a hard time showing you, but the red components here would be the equivalent of this over here, although they don't necessarily uh, have exactly, exactly the same type of movement, but there's a kind of analogy here. All right, next, the cam and follower. Okay, so the cam rotates, so you have an example here, this is a cam, it rotates, and because it has a shape like an egg, when the, uh, the longer part reaches the top, it pushes this component up. So it makes this translate. So the follower, this component, translates. Can it be reversible? No. The cam is always the driver, and the follower, it follows, right, is always the driven. Now, the cam has a rotational axis over here that is centered. So if I could... Uh, let me use, yeah, I'll have to use this one. Uh, if I could draw a circle, so take out the, the part of the shape that is a little bit longer, we would see that this here is really centered. Now, you could have sometimes, like, this one is a good example, a better example. Sometimes the axis of rotation will be off-center. We call this an eccentric, okay? So the rotational axis is off-center. If it is the case, we call it an eccentric rather than a cam. And by doing that, if I was to move this a little closer to, to the, the bottom edge, um, if I was to move it closer, actually the top part here would go even higher. Okay, so it gives greater movement to the actual eccentric and also to the follower to push it higher. So that's not reversible. All right, next. We have the rack and pinion system. Okay, so a rack, in my head anyways, a rack is like a, a shelf. So a shelf being flat, it allows me to remember that this is the part that's called the rack. Uh, and this would be the pinion. So it's rotation to translation or translation to rotation because the system is reversible. An example where you're going to see that is in a car. So you have the steering wheel, which is attached to a pinion, and as you're turning it, so the pinion is turning back and forth, it's making the rack move, which is moving the wheels. Okay, so the rack part moves the wheels, the pinion is the part that's attached to the steering wheel, and obviously when you move this, you move these. But if your car is on a lift, for example, you could technically move the wheels, and it would make the steering wheel move. That is if the system is not locked in place. Cars have a system where sometimes it, it, it locks in place purposely 
um, I guess for when they do work, they do work on the on the wheels, um, or also perhaps for safety. I'm not very well versed in car mechanics, so I'm just gonna stop talking about it before I put my foot in my mouth. Okay, moving on. Screw and gear system type one. So there's two types. We're gonna see second one after, obviously. Here we have rotation to translation. It is not reversible. So the driver is called a screw. Uh, I know it's called a screw and gear system, but oddly, and I don't know why, they call the driver the screw and the driver, the driven, sorry, the nut. Okay, so you've got a screw over here. This is a lift, right? You can see here to lift a car if you need to change a tire, for example. Uh, so you have the screw, the screw rotates and it makes this go up and down. You can see this one is not open quite as much as this one. So there's translation, this goes up and down, and there's rotation. So there's a transformation of movement. And again, this is a driver, so you would be turning this little part over here, uh, clock clockwise or counterclockwise, to make this part go up and down. So open and close, in other words. So translation, rotation but the movement always has to be initiated from the screw itself making it non-reversible Number two, very similar. So again, rotation to translation, again, not reversible. Again, the driver is, but if you make the, um, the parallel here, before the driver was, was the screw and the driven was called the nut. In the type two, the driver is the nut, the driven is a screw. Now, it's very subtle. Um, quite frankly, I don't think uh, it's the biggest deal if you see an object and you're, you're not sure if it's system one or system two. What you have to remember it's, is that it's not reversible and it's always rotation to translation. So if we look at these tools, we're going to be turning this part over here or this part over here. So rotation, right? And it's going to make this open up or this open up. So there's a translation. This component goes up and down. Sorry about that as you're turning this over here. So rotation to translation or rotation to translation. So that is the screw and gear system type two. And finally, we have the little summary as for the motion transmission systems. So you've got the different uh, types of systems, you've got the types of motions, and was it reversible or not? So that's it for this lesson. If you have questions, please reach out. Um, otherwise, I will see you around for your next lesson. And until then, take care.